Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Atosa Therapeutics, a channel developing innovative therapies to address unmet needs in breast cancer. Joining us to give us a high-level overview of some recent study uh, data that was released. The stock has been on an absolute uh, tear as of recent, which I'm sure everyone's pretty excited about. We have Stephen, the CEO, joining to discuss. Welcome, sir. Well, hi, Kyle. It's uh, great to be here from San Diego, the American Association of Clinical Research, Cancer yep. Research Studies. It's such a pleasure to get you on. Uh, there's been a lot going on here, so I kind of want to dive into this and just kind of recap. You just dropped news today, actually, that Atosa Therapeutic presented data from a 40 milligram cohort of phase two Evangeline clinical trial showing about 100% disease control rate after 24 weeks of treatment with uh, basically adoxifen. Do you want to um, kind of explain exactly what this means? Maybe simplify it first. Like, what is this drug's purpose? And then break this down. Yeah, so th this this drug uh, uh, in was you know invented uh, at Totosa. We have three issued patents on it. it. It does a lot of different things around breast cancer. Uh, primary activity is to block estrogen interacting with the estrogen receptor, uh, which is what drives about eighty percent of breast cancer. So that it's that's its its main uh, function. But at high, higher levels, it does other things in cancer cells, including causing them to commit suicide or, 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 or do what's called apoptosis. Um, so it's a unique drug in that respect and having multiple mechanisms of action. Um, and so this first cohort was designed to simply look at, at the low dose where it's only hitting the uh, ester receptor, how good is the activity and what can we expect when we go to higher doses where we're combining two different activities. Um, so uh, Dr. Getz and I were, were here at this, at this meeting. I believe they get around 14,000 people here. Uh, certainly our presentation was very well received and there were a lot of people around asking questions about it. How do they get into the trial? How can they get patients into the trial? So a very exciting mo morning here in San Diego. Yeah, definitely appreciate the insight. You also have um, other phase two studies going on, or I think three, correct, phase two. Do you want to kind of give a, a quick recap on what's going on with the other aspects of the pipeline here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're looking at all aspects of breast cancer. So uh, one of the studies is called Charisma and Oxifen. This is actually in a prevention space. Uh, 240 women are recruited to this trial and they get either a sugar pill or one milligram of endoxifen or two milligrams of endoxifen. Now in the, the trial here in San Diego where we're actually treating cancer patients, we're giving them 40 and 80 milligrams uh, but we actually can see good activity in prevention at one and two milligrams. So, so it's, it's quite remarkable this drug can work over such a large concentration span. In this study, women are coming in who have high density, who we know are at high risk of getting breast cancer. We're doing a mammogram at baseline, one at three months, one at six months, uh, and we're looking for a reduction in density, which then would correlate with a reduction incidence of cancer. Now, the last patient will, will end uh, drug treatment in May of this year. So she'll have her last mammogram in May, uh, May or June, and then we'll do a readout uh, in this in the beginning of the second half of this year. So, so uh, that's the Charisma and Doxifen trial. Yeah, so it's nice to see some catalysts kind of coming forward here. Do you want to talk a little bit about um, you know those catalysts? What we should be looking forward to? I know you just offered kind of the year end recap of 2023, but do you want to provide some corporate updates, maybe some forward looking guidance for us? Absolutely, but uh, so uh, there's two other trials going on that that will be part of the corporate updates. One is in DCIS, which is another uh, way of getting at pre-cancers. Uh, this is done through the iSpy network in San Francisco. Uh, so these are patients who have had a biopsy that show a lesion called DCIS that is not quite cancer, but uh, but could become cancer. We're trying to prevent cancer in that setting. Uh, and then the iSpy ne uh, network is also doing uh, a neoadjuvant trial in ER positive breast cancer. That is in both pre and postmenopausal women. So. We, we've got two trials in pre-cancer, two trials in neoadjuvant setting, uh, all with, with some readouts coming in the second half of this year. So I think that that's really the most important thing is as you see us going into the, into the late summer and fall, you'll begin to see clinical readouts of these trials. Now, as we've indicated, uh, we found indoxin works in the estrogen receptor. It works in something called PKC beta, which is another target. And we've used artificial intelligence, some of the generative processes here, to look for other kinds of cancers uh, where this drug could be effective. And so you'll actually see us pivoting not just for you know, all of breast cancer, but into other kinds of cancers this year. Um, so this is a remarkable drug, and we're really excited about bringing it forward. Um, as you know, one of the important things for companies like ours is their cash position. 
Uh, so we've ended our uh, uh, ended the uh, year in uh, 2023 with uh, over three years of cash, allowing us to really do these readouts uh, without having to raise additional money. Yeah, I think that was um, <clears throat> an absolutely incredible statement, as you guys seem to be on the forefront of some pretty pivotal change in healthcare. And I'll pass that question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below and consider subscribing because it's Catalyst News. Of course, at The Wire, I'll bring it to you here. But on that note, we look forward to catching you in the next one.